Okay, this is Eric at Flex PVC, and this is a test I did just to test the different glues, see which one works better. This is ABS to ABS. This is ABS sheet, and these, this is ABS pipe that I cut. It's all the same piece of pipe. I just cut a uh, section out of it and cut it into four different pieces, quarter turn on each one. And the first one here, which I don't have it, but the super glue, this is super glue. I just wanted to see how well super glue compare, compared to the glue that's meant for this. This is all the multi uh, glue. This is OD multi, this is Uniweld multi, and this is Cygrip multi. So uh, I'm going to, I have to go backwards because I got to go pull from this side here. Let's see, make sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. So I'm pulling here because I, obviously I can't get in here until I pull this one off. So this is a fish scale and I will tear it. Okay. And I'm t so I'm testing the Cygrip last. So this is Cygrip, Uniweld, OD, and super glue. And we're just going to see how much force it takes to break this loose. Oops, I don't like that about this fish scale. Okay, so, all right, so I'm pulling, I'm pulling, and I hope you can see the screen. I hope it's in focus. Okay, so I'm going to pull till it breaks. I'm trying to pull directly through the center. Two, three, four, five, six seven, eight, twelve, holy smokes, it's starting to go. Okay, well, that's pretty amazing. <laughs> that's the side grip. Um, I, I wish I could, I should have gone this way, but I wanted to give it the strongest possible um, test. Going this way, you're actually pulling against the corners, and I didn't want to do that because the uh, super glue was not fair because I didn't get all the way to the corner. So I figured I'm going to pull this way. That means it's going to break there. Now the problem with this test is if I don't break this one off, I can't go to the next one. <laughs> so I'm going to have to get a little serious with this one. Okay, here we go. Hopefully we can see it. Yes. Okay. I, I got to go till it breaks. <clears throat> well, okay. I don't have no idea where it broke. Or excuse me, what force it took to break. I'll have to review the uh, video to see where it broke. Hopefully I can see it. It took a lot. This is, this is plenty strong enough for what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, here, okay, so we're gonna drill in your hole for the next one. It has to be an approximate. Okay, I gotta drill a hole in the next one. It's gotta be in the same place as this one, same distance down to have the same torque on the glue joint. That is amazingly strong glue joint. Uh, way stronger than I thought. I really had to pull hard. Okay, so I'm not worried about this. This is definitely going to work for the application. Okay. All right, so this is the next one. By the way, I love that Dremel. I use that, the cordless, all the time. I actually have two because uh, I lost it the first time. I was doing a project and I lost it. So I had to go buy another one. And then I found the other one several months later. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go number two, which is now the, no, it's this one here, Uniweld. I have no idea. I saw 12, and I know I was pulling a lot harder than that. Okay, here we go. Let's see where we go. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two. Okay, I saw 22 when it broke. I'll review the video to see if that's actually where it was. Ah, sorry. Okay, on that first one, I'm sorry, the, the audio might be down because my microphone got moved when it popped. Okay, so that felt not quite as much as the side grip. I think the side grip required a little more force. Sure felt like it. Okay, we're going to the next one. Okay. Okay, let's... Oh, I see. Okay. Shrapnel from the drill bit was interfering with the threads. All right. Okay, so this is this one is OD. Let's see where that goes. All right, open up, and we are going to start 
I'm gonna grab onto this better. Okay, so we're gonna tear it. There we go. I'm trying to pull directly against it. Oh, it's coming off easy. I can hear it, see it moving. I'm into eight, nine, ten, sixteen. Well, it started to break early, but it is hanging in there. Probably what I heard was the excess of glue breaking. Okay, we're gonna try again. 18, 19, 20, 22, 24, 25, 26. It's all 26 just before it let loose. Ah. And again, the microphone comes loose. All right. So they're actually, they're way stronger than I expected. This is going to be plenty good. Last one. Here we go. Super glue. And uh, one thing, the OD, when it dried, it didn't dry clear. It went on with this milky white look, and uh, it dried with that milky white look. If that matters to you, then use the Uniweld or the Cygrip. Okay, so here we go. Last one. All right, so grab my... All right, here we go. Pulling directly against it. Oops, tear. Okay, here we go. Three pounds. <laughs> okay, so definitive answer. Super glue, negative. Not on ABS to ABS. Okay, uh, I'm going to show, I'm going to see here if we can get some real close-ups of the, uh, the glue joint on the ABS. Now, what I did was, let's see if I can auto. There we go. All right. So I'm just using this. I'll probably put it under a microscope to see the bonding. Interestingly enough, at least here, it looks like the OD actually penetrated the... Um, no, maybe not. All right, I'll have to look under a microscope. Maybe I can do some screen caps out under the microscope to see what it looks like. Okay, well... Uh, so the side grip, I, I'll go and review, but it sure felt like it was the strongest. The Oni and the Uniwell both had about the same, uh, 24, 25, 26, and that. Super glue, forget it. So don't use super glue for uh, bonding ABS to ABS. Okay? Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.